Nice. First kill of the day. First clip of the new episode is an elite Kuskarol. Let's do this. I did also get 72 mining. Um, and I was going to record it, but I missed the level. And I didn't really want to start off the video with 72 mining because it's kind of boring. However, I think, is it 72 or 73 mine? This is completely random. I love it, by the way. Uh, yes, it is 72 mine that unlocks the upper level of the middle load. Awesome. Uh, and by the way, the reason I was mining is because I want to get full prospector so I can do the Fally Hards because that's one of two hard diaries I haven't done yet. And uh, yeah, we still need the helmet and the boots. And I only have 29 nuggets, so we're still pretty far away, unfortunately. But that's okay because I have myself a Fury Ornament Kit. Instead of a Fury Ornament Kit, I have myself a pair of flared. Oh. Dude. What is this, three kills later? Give me that content scroll, boys. What are we gonna get today? A master clue scroll and generic trash. Man, our elite clue scrolls have been, they've been really bad lately, I'm not gonna lie. Now, can we do this master clue? So far, so good. Wow, what are the odds? <laughs> the same clue scroll step that I had on my last master clue that caused me to procrastinate for like literally a month uh, is the one I have now on step two. So, yeah, I need to do Morning Zen part two. And you know, last time I let it sit in my bank and rot for like a month, but I think I'm just going to go ahead and do this real quick. Okay, so I just got 75 mining. And um, to put into perspective basically what I've been doing the past two days, uh, I haven't had to work or anything, so I've literally just been playing the fuck out of Madden because it came out uh, two days ago and alongside playing Madden I've been sitting at Motherload and I got from I think 71 all the way up to 75 and I now once I I'll just go ahead and turn in these pay dirt now uh, I have easily enough money to buy myself my last piece of prospector and I can go ahead and knock out the Faldor hard diary um, and I'll show you guys here in a second exactly how much nuggets I have we go to the bank here we have a total of a hundred and three so what I'm going to do is buy the prospector helmet and I believe all I have to do is walk into the I think all I have to do is walk into the mining guild and uh, it'll go ahead and knock out the task and I can easily knock out the other ones without having to do anything so that's what we're gonna go ahead and do uh, and then afterwards I'm gonna sell back the prospector and buy the upper level of mother load as well as the bigger sack so I think I just walk in here and boom hard task is done I can now knock out the rest of them and uh, right now though since I'm currently still playing Madden like a no life I'm gonna go ahead and uh, <laughs> go back to mining but still 75 mining then we are five levels off of 80 which is a huge huge level that i did not think i was uh going to be getting anytime soon jesus bro god damn i just got 80 mining and um yeah man i have just been i've just been you know not playing this game i've i've literally been at mother load for the past what Four days, pretty much. Yeah, pretty much four days. Um, got from 71 all the way to 80. Shout out to Madden 19. I've been playing the fuck out of that, and it is the absolute perfect game to play alongside with um, with old school RuneScape. But uh, yeah, 80 mining. Everything is knocked out. Um, I went ahead and completed the uh, diary, as you guys know. And um, let's see. I sold the prospector back. I bought the top level. I bought the bigger sack. And I have how many nuggets? 199. I don't exactly know how much the full set is, um, but we don't need the full set of Prospector unless we get that step of the Master Clue. Um, and as far as those wondering how many ores we have, we have quite a bit. Um, 
yeah, I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with the coal. I guess I'll, I guess I'll smith it at some point, but yeah, dude, 80 mining. I don't really need it any higher. I don't think for anything I'm trying to, cause I know you need 85 mining to do that master clue step. I know you need 85 mining for the wilderness elites, but I don't think you need any higher than 85. So that's really good. I don't have to touch this stat ever again. I hate mining as well. It's just, it's very fucking slow. Um, but once again, we're done. We don't have to train it again. And I, um, you know, talking about that master clue step, I wanted to do the master clue in my bank and I'm not going to do any more, uh, procrastinating. I'm going to go ahead and knock it out because I have to talk to the dwarf after completing the, um, morning's end part two. So that's what we're going to do. But first, all right, I can now, um, knock out the Falador hearts. So that's what we're going to go ahead and do. Yes, we got it. Shield left half, baby. Oh yeah, it didn't even take that long. I've only been here for probably 30 minutes, maybe? It is a pain in the ass, by the way, to kill those because they never unaggro and the safe spots are all fucked up. But not only can I do the Falador hards now, but I can do the Arty hards once I knock out Morning's in part two. And I can smith my dragon square shield now that I have the shield left half. Let's do some diaries. Fuck yeah. This should be, yes, morning's end part one is confinished. I can now go ahead and knock out morning's end part two. Shouldn't be too, too bad because I'll go ahead and show you guys as an Iron Man, it can be a big pain having to do that door of item list. It can take a couple hours, but. I went ahead and grinded myself out one. I want to see how many I killed. I killed the Dark Beasts in the Catacombs, for those wondering. And it took me a total of 115. We didn't get any Dark Bows. But yeah, I killed 115 Dark Beasts and I got my Death Talisman. So uh, I'm going to time myself and see how long I'm going to log out right before I start the quest. And we're going to see how long it takes me to do it. Wait, what the fuck? So I'm sitting here doing Morning Zen Part 2. And I just killed a shadow and got 95 strength <laughs> bro what the fuck i don't even know what to say i'm really i'm really listening to clear music one right now trying to do this quest as fast as possible but holy fuck <laughs> that's crazy uh it was really really close as far as like um the level for a long time but um yeah for those of you guessing when i would get this level if any of you guessed that i would get it oh fuck i fell Damn, that's the first time it's happened so far. But for any of you guys that guessed that I was going to get this level through this quest, you should probably go buy a lottery ticket. <laughs> this should be the end of the quest here as I talk to Mr. Aranwin. It took me 47 minutes to do. So, pretty good. Once again, Slayer Music 1. Couldn't have done it without you. I can now uh, finish off the Arty Hards, and I can also finish off my Master Clue. Which one am I going to do first? I'm not quite sure. We'll see. Okay, 87 attack. You might be wondering why I'm killing ogres. Well, I am trying to do the um, arty hard section. And I have to plant, or pick rather, some poison ivy berries. And I need a poison ivy seed. And I've been killing these for, yeah, 19 minutes. And they still haven't given me one. And it's medium, or not medium, but uncommon on the drop rate. So... Anyway, 87 attack. Still 113 combat, though. Damn. I'm still on the hunt for that um, poison ivy seed, but on the way, I changed from ogres to abbey specs, and we just got 98 hit points. Um, which is just... Man, we're getting a lot of spur-of-the-moment levels. And when I say a lot, we've only gotten two, but... 98 HP, one level off of my third 99. That was my first 99 I got, I believe, on my main account and uh you know 1.2 million experience to the next level that probably will not happen for a long long time but one more level to go oh, not quite 114 combat yay we finally got it i'm so excited because now i have to wait two hours and 40 minutes for it maybe to grow I don't think there's a payment for it, so there's a chance that it'll die on me. And it took me, like, over an hour to get this thing, so hopefully it doesn't die.
We did it. The Dragon Square Shield is made. All of the hard tasks in the Artie Diary are done. Yay, I'm so happy about that. I just have the Fally remaining. And uh, if you guys didn't see earlier in my video, I had to do uh, Grim Tales in order to knock it out. I didn't realize that when I uh, like initially knocked out that task that required me to uh, wear the full set of Prospector. And I just, like, <laughs> after doing Morning's End Part 1 and 2, I just don't really want to do any quests. Uh, and and I'll, I'll probably do a quest. Like, I'll probably knock out the quest in the next clip. But anyway, enough talking about that. Second to last hard task done. Let's go ahead and talk to two points. And we'll check out the rewards of the hard section in the Ardoan Diaries. Uh, I'm going to get the Artie Cloak 3, which is really good. has, like, um, plus... Uh, four or five prayer and as well as I think a good stab and magic attack bonus so uh, I get 150 pure essence per day that's not really worth it though because I have a ton of pure essence from Zora the watchtower teleport to the center of Yenel is nice because every day I collect my buckets of sand from Bert and I hate having to walk from the watchtower it's not very far but it's, it's a little bit closer if I set it to the middle of Yenel uh, I get more noted drops from Tower of Life, which is good for collecting secondaries like um, red spider eggs and stuff like that. And I get a 10% better chance of pickpocketing everywhere. And I think once I put this into runecrafting, I know I've been putting all of my lamps and stuff into herb lore, but to me, like... I, I don't know. I mean, it goes back and forth. Part of me, you know, wants to put it in Herbalore because it's a really, like, tasking stat to get up on an Iron Man, but, like, runecrafting is just such a bitch. Uh, but once I put this in runecrafting, I'll get 15k, and I'll get up to Giggity9 runecrafting, which is just absolutely amazing. So, yeah, plus five prayer bonus. That's actually... That's really fucking good. By far the best piece of equipment that you get from completing any of the diaries. Well, I am a man of my word, and I said in the last clip that I would probably be completing the Grim Tales quest in the next clip, and this is the next clip. And once I skip through this dialogue, I should be done. Please. Yeah, holy crap, that is a lot of experience. That's a lot of experience. I also get um, the Dwarven Helmet from this, which is pretty good. I think it is best in slot. For crush bonus I think could be wrong but uh, no one thing that I, I failed to mention uh, when talking about the arty hard rewards the best part of doing the arty hards is that I get not just three teleports a day to the arty farm patch but I get once I do it I'm actually wasting it but it's, it's fine uh, I get five per day which is which is really fucking good let's check out the rewards for the Fally hard though I find it quite funny that the last task I'm doing in the Faldor section is uh, walking a lap of the uh, the course. Word of the wise, do not do the Fally rooftop, okay? Because it is horrible. Like, it's just a terrible, terrible course. I think Alcarid is really bad too, but Alcarid and Fally, those are just, just skip those. Don't even, don't even bother with those. I'll uh, speak to Cerebral here. I love Jagex, man. They always come up with uh, clever names for their Falador White Knights. We have Serenity, we have Ceramic Vase, we have uh, Certification. This guy, Cerebral. I don't know. I don't know why his name's Cerebral, but I don't care. Uh, rewards. Let's see. Falador Shield 3, which will restore my prayer points fully once per day. I know the Fally Shield 4 is good for like Inferno runs, but uh, I think I'll take that with me if I ever do Abyss Room Crafting again. Uh, I get a bank deposit box at the Crafting Guild, which is awesome. That's a really good place to mine clay for making soft clay for house teleport tabs, which is something I may do, not quite sure. Uh, I get a shortcut to the Heroes Guild Fountain, which is nice. That's cool because I've had... I don't actually charge my jewelry there because it's kind of shitty to do that. I'd just rather, you know, go to the uh, Fountain of Rune for those six charges. But whenever I get that Elite Clue Scroll step where I got to go next to the Fountain, that's um, that's good. It saves me 15 seconds. Yep. Uh, the Giant Mole will now be easier to locate. Yes, that's good. That's the best thing about doing the Fally Hards by far, by the way, is uh, killing Giant Mole. You get the locator and you also 
get um, noted skins and claws, which can be exchanged for bird's nests, uh, which was really, really good before birdhouse runs came out, but birdhouses I've kind of, I wouldn't necessarily, you know, render mole obsolete now, but it's definitely not as good as it used to be. It's definitely something I'm going to be killing, but not anytime soon. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and throw this. Let's see. I threw my last one to runecrafting. I'm going to throw this one into runecrafting again, because why the fuck not? And I think that is all my skilling I'm going to do. I have all of the hards done at this point. Uh, and I want to ask you guys a question. Because uh, I do want to shoot for some elite diaries. I don't necessarily want to prioritize them right now because my main priority is to get a, a Tanzanite thing from Zora, but that could happen. Like, literally, my next Zora kill, I could get that. So, and then from there, I don't even know what I want to do. But I want to ask you guys and comment this below. And I asked a, a question in my last episode. I didn't get too much feedback uh, with that dude, the monkey. Uh, I asked a stupid question, and I, I don't know if I'm going to give somebody a bond for that because, like, only five people answered. So, but uh, what elite diaries do you guys think I should I should push for? Uh, I know the best ones, one of the best ones is the Desert Elite, um, because you can kill a Calphite Queen really well, and it's not that far away. I mean, I'm not really close to any Elite Diaries. Fremenic is always a really popular one, Artie is nice. Um, me personally, Lumbridge and Drainer, just not having to worry about having a Drainman Staff would be amazing. And the only thing that I can think of that would be kind of an annoyance would be just, I could easily get the Quest Cape. Um, but like getting 76 runecrafting 88 smithing that would just cost me some money and um, I have a lot of money right now for those wondering I have like 17 mil just chilling here uh, And I still have like a shit ton of battle stabs so the money wouldn't be a problem But yeah comment below what elite diary you guys think I should push for um, I, You know Varrock obviously is another one. That's really really nice, and I don't think Varrock is very far away Just need runecrafting smithing. Okay. Yeah, the stats are pretty fucking steep. I'm not gonna lie um, but yeah, I want to do some Elite Diaries, and uh, I want you guys to tell me which one you think I should do. I'll be honest, I don't even know where the hell I can get a full set of Menophyte robes. So, plus I need 82 thieving for that, or 81, 81 thieving. And I don't really feel like doing that, so it is going to rot in this winter wasteland, and I am going to go probably do some more Clue Scrolls, because I have a bunch of them in the bank. I'm not very happy about that. I can't lie with you guys. I know I should be hitting up Zola right now, but uh, I wanted to finish off this Kraken task because I just got 89 Slayer, and I knew I was going to get it very soon. I was like 10k off um, since the last time I've killed these, so... Two more levels until Cerberus. I really want them to add in some more Slayer monsters at higher Slayer levels. I know, like... It used to be, once you got 90 Slayer, there was nothing for the last 9 levels. And they added in, you know, Cerberus. They added in Smoke Devil. But I'd like to see another another Slayer mo uh, monster or Slayer boss added in at, like, maybe, like, 95 or 96 Slayer. It doesn't matter. I'm not going to get 95 or 96 Slayer for a long, long time. But still, two more levels until we can kill Cerberus without using our Wild Pies. Oh, shit. Kraken Tentacle. Yes. Awesome. That's what I wanted. I can put that on my uh, my other whip I have. Yes, that's really, really good. I think you need, is it 10 of them for the um, the trident that can hold, is it 20,000 charges or 25,000 charges? Still, it doesn't matter. That's that's good. I'm going to use that at like bandos and bosses and stuff like that. Sweet. Oh yeah, your boy is ready to make some fucking bank at the door arena. What did I do to deserve this? What the frick, dude? My microphone wasn't recording when I got 90 farming. Dude, that sucks. Well, we didn't unlock anything, I don't think. But, um, yeah, it's still a pretty crazy level. I think this is our one, two, three, four, five, six, seventh stat to Eclipse 90, which is pretty crazy, but... Yeah, I don't unlock anything until 91, but I am excited for 91, because at 91 you will be able to plant two spirit trees, and I'll have one in probably Karend, maybe? I'm not quite sure, but yeah, still. 90 farming, wish I could have recorded it, but hopefully we will uh, we'll record the next one. Woo!
Yes! Fuck, I just stepped on my headphones. Oh, yes, baby. Let's go. Suck me, baby. Woo! We got it. Oh, man. Oh. So I hope somebody clipped that. You. Did I break my headphones? No, I'm good. My headphones are good. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Let's go. KC374. Oh. We got it, boys. On stream as well. As you can tell from uh, the reactions and stuff. Let's go. I mean, it, that's that's probably the best way to finish off this video. I went about 210, I think, kills dry. I think the last Magic Fang I got, my sixth Magic Fang, was at uh, two, or 160. And 374 KC, we have the Tanzanite Fang. We have every single drop from Zora, aside from the Mega Rares being the Jar, the Mutagens, and the Pet. And I am one happy boy. No.